Hi friends and welcome back to Inner Health Journey. If you're new around here, my name is Cami. So, cold and flu season is right around the corner and so I want to prepare um, some herbal remedies for my family to help support us during that season. So some of my typical go-to's are fermented honey garlic and the elderberry syrup. But when I was downstairs in our pantry, I found some bee balm, and so I thought I would make a bee balm Oxymel to also help support us during the cold and flu season. If that sounds interesting to you, then join me in my kitchen. Okay, to make the bee balm Oxymel, what we're gonna need is our bee balm, some local raw honey, and some apple cider vinegar. So an Oxymel is similar to a tincture, but without the alcohol, we're gonna use the honey and the vinegar to help preserve it instead of the alcohol. So what I have in my pint jar is one cup of the bee balm. I'm gonna add one cup of the honey, and then one cup of the apple cider vinegar. So some uses for bee balm are that it's antiseptic, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. It's also an expectorant. There's many others, and I will leave a link down below uh, for you to go to a website to, to review. Bee balm is used internally for indigestion, intestinal cramps, nausea, flatulence, fevers, influenza, colds, bronchitis, whooping cough, sore throats. So the reason I'm using the bee balm is because it's good for sore throats, cough, and congestion. So I thought it would be a perfect addition to the apothecary for the cold and flu season. So now what I'm gonna do is just put a plastic lid on here and give it a good shake. If you don't have a plastic lid, um, then um, I would suggest putting some wax paper down because the vinegar will um, cause some corrosion to your lids. So what I'm gonna do next is put this in a cool, dark place for four to six weeks to let the bee balm infuse into the honey and the apple cider vinegar. Once that is done, then I will strain the bee balm out and then it is ready for use. So for dosage recommendations, it says one to two tablespoons, uh, three to four times a day as needed. Again, I'm using this for sore throat and congestion. So the honey and apple cider vinegar also brings their healing properties to this Oxymel as well. You know, honey is good anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and uh, apple cider vinegar is very good for our digestion. So I think overall this is a great Oxymel. I can't wait to try it for this cold and flu season. Well friends, there we have it, our bee balm Oxymel. So I just hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy learning something new with me as I'm learning. And so if you could, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing to the channel. And if the Lord's willing, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.